Now we're going to take a look at how to do custom status icons using the SharePoint-Boards.com template. This template allows you to display icons next to a choice field. In this case, we're using the term status, but you can, of course, uh, call the field whatever you want, and it's just demonstrating a concept. As is the case in all the templates, the first thing you should do is look at the theme selector so you can look at the example options. From there, you can customize to have it look however you want. You'll notice in the row values, it shows example selections based on particular status values. What you should do is replace these values with whatever corresponds to the choices in your SharePoint choice field. In my case, I already have this set up using those choice selections, but of course you can set this up to use whatever you want. You'll find there are more than 200 different icons that you can select from when setting up your values. So be sure to browse through those selections until you find something that looks just the way that you want. Once you've set up your table showing the different options for your choice field along with the corresponding icons, you should be ready to go. Note that the inline edit mode is checked by default. This means that when users click on the field, they have the option to change the value of this choice field directly from the SharePoint view. If you don't want that functionality, simply uncheck the inline edit option to turn that off. Note in the guide, it provides some instructions and explanation about this. In this case, there is a custom icons directory that you need to first download from SharePoint dashboards and then upload to your site's local site assets directory. This is required to take advantage of the SharePoint dashboards custom icons. Once I have everything that I want, I'm going to hit the copy code button and go over to SharePoint. In the column header, I want to go to column settings, format this column, and then advanced mode. Remove the pre-existing formatting code and paste in your own code. Now you can see the icons next to my choice fields. Also note, since I have interactive mode turned on, there is a hover effect which helps the user know that this option can be changed and I can change that to a different selection directly from the list view. Again, if you don't like that type of functionality, you simply need to be sure to uncheck the inline edit option. You can also load your own icon selections if you prefer. Notice in the row icon selection, there is a checkbox for use my own. One other thing to note, if you prefer large icons, notice that the initial set of options are bigger if you prefer that type of look and feel. So there's lots of different abilities in controlling how all of this looks. Be sure to experiment and try different options until you find something that's just the way that you want.